how you doing? We're gonna watch a fight, and this time, they're fighting on grass. I'm so pleased. It can't be anything other than brilliant. So today we're going to watch a fight from Defend Fight Club, which is a similar organisation to King of the Streets. Um, I believe. They're German. I believe. And they fight outdoors, generally on grass. Um, and yeah, it seemed like a great thing to do. So I picked one that sounds like it's going to be fun. BJJ versus kickboxing. What could possibly go wrong? Um, yeah, let's give it a watch and uh, see if it's as awesome as it has the potential to be. Okay, well, that, that dude's got ears. I... I can only assume this is their own brand. Um... Yeah, I'm bored now. Okay, this is no good. Let's have a little look. Okay, right. Following video is not suitable for viewers under 16. Hello, ich bin Isa. Heute ist mein zweiter Kampf bei DFC. Ich werde heute mein Bestes geben. Is it just me or was that a surprisingly high-pitched voice for such a big man? Um, came as a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, you look at the man and you think, yeah. Hello, ich bin Isa. Oh. Heute ist mein zweiter Kampf bei DFC. Ich werde heute mein Bestes geben. Well, you know, I mean, he's 30 years old, he's, what, 5'10", 5'11", 180 centimetres, 128 kilos, which means he's both smaller than me and outweighs me by probably 25 kilos. Um, that's not a small man. BJJ. The one thing I've learned over the years of grappling is that people who really do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to any degree tend to be in pretty good shape. You can't do it for any length of time and not be in fairly good shape. Because, you know, doing it regularly does get you fit. But also, if you're not fit, you're, you're carrying a lot of extra weight. It makes it so, so much harder. Uh, so people tend to go out of their way to lose that extra weight because it makes it easier. I know what I'm doing. Um, so my instinct looking at him is he's probably not brilliant. BJJ, but you know, hey, happy to be proven wrong. Let's see who he's fighting. Hello, my name is Petula. I come from Berlin, okay. Berlin. I train for one year kickboxing. So this chap's a kickboxer. Um, he's 200 centimeters. God, that's a lot. Um, and I'm what 182, 183, and that's six foot. So he's got 17 centimeters on me. Wow. Um, yeah, that's probably about seven, eight inches. So, um, yeah, he's not a small man. 23 years old, quite young for this sort of thing. Um, 130 kilos. And his name is Holtzfeller. I think that means lumberjack, right? It's been a long time since I've done any significant German. But uh, I'm sure I have some German people. In fact, I know I have some, some native German speakers in my, 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 my viewers, my audience. God, that sounds poncy and pretentious, doesn't it? My audience, yes. Come on, audience, behave properly. Uh, yeah, let me know if, uh, if that does actually mean lumberjack. Um, I seem to vaguely remember hearing a German version of the lumberjack song once, and I'm pretty sure that it was Holtzfeller. Um... But yeah, okay, let's see. He he doesn't have a confident bearing about him, does he? Kind of slumpy shoulders. Oh, I'm a kickboxer. Anyway, let's see if he's any good. Ich hoffe, dass ich ihn so sagen, ausnocken kann. Aber mal sehen, der bessere Kämpfer soll gewinnen. How long does this go? Ich wünsche meinen Gegner viel Glück. Okay, quite a long time. Right. This is interesting here. Combining the two. Um, yeah, no, I, I was wrong. It's not interesting. Oh, another advert for Defend Fight Club gear. Getting a bit fed up of that. <laughs> Let's have... Oh, some shadow boxing. I love watching people do shadow boxing. 
um, because it tells you an awful lot about them. I think it's very interesting that we have our, our BJJ guy and he's gone straight into punching. Now, he, he actually looks like he's done some punching before. He's got a little bit of foot movement. Um, some interesting little, um, <laughs> interesting little palm down punches there. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Let's take a look at our kickboxer. He's obviously going to be more impressive, right? Okay. Let's go back and actually watch our kickboxer. Okay. Punch, elbow, punch, punch, and, and that's it. Okay. Why would somebody that sells themselves as a kickboxer not be able to shadow box and look like a kickboxer? I don't know. I'm not holding out a lot of hope anymore that this is going to be an amazing fight. But, you know, they're on grass. They're not fighting on concrete. So the chance of anybody getting their head literally split open on the floor is pretty slim. So I'm still feeling good. Am Start für euch. Am Sonntag hier auf dem Rasen, Leute, bei Defend FC. Was geht ab? Isa ist wieder am Start für uns. Und der kämpft heute gegen Beitulach. Beide Kämpfer haben ungefähr ein Jahr ähm, Erfahrung in ihren jeweiligen Disziplinen. Beitulach beim Kickboxen. Isa mit BJJ. Ich bin natürlich richtig gespannt. Ähm, Beitulach hat hier gesagt, er will das Ding im Stand halten, natürlich wegen seinem Kickboxer-Background und äh, möchte Isa gerne so schnell wie möglich ausnocken. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob das so leicht ist. Ich weiß nicht, ob das so leicht ist. Ich habe Deutsch in der Schule and I went on a German exchange. I've been to Germany a few times. I've got some German friends. I speak a little bit of the language, enough that I wouldn't starve to death if I suddenly found myself abandoned in Germany. But I don't speak enough to be able to follow it when somebody's speaking German at a normal speaking pace. But I pick up enough that lets me know that I should be able to follow it and therefore I feel guilty about the fact that I can't. And listening to someone speak German just makes me sad. So, um. Yeah, sorry, German friends. Leicht ist gegen einen Grappler, weil als Striker, wenn man nach vorne gehen muss und nach MMA-Regeln kämpft, dann sollte man aufpassen, dass man nicht so stark nach vorne schiebt, weil man eventuell einen Take-Off hat. Soweit ich gesehen habe im letzten Kampf, war Isas Boxen jetzt gar nicht so schlecht. Ich bin echt gespannt. Der Ref Nico Servises hat hier die Regeln erklärt. I'm assuming that the two guys sitting on stools are the seconds and they're going to be looking after their fighters and the stools are there for the fighters in between rounds. But it does look a little bit like a couple of people have gone, oh, let's go and watch the fight. We'll take our own stool with us. Um, yeah, it's probably not that. Oh, schaut euch das okay, mal. Isa läuft direkt nach vorne. Oh. Ja, macht Isa auch richtig hier, ne? Als kleine... I'm going to go out on a limb here, uh, and after that first exchange, we've had a punch or two from each person. I'm going to say that neither of these guys have done any serious fighting. Um, I'm not massively overwhelmed by the, the, the level of skill on offer. In fact, I'd go as far as to say I'm positively underwhelmed by the level of skill on offer. So... Uh, I don't think, even if they were fighting on concrete, that there'd be much chance of any of them getting their heads smashed open. Kleinere Kämpfer, beide wiegen ja gleich viel. Oh, aber Betulach ist hier mit, mit zwei Meter wesentlich größer als Isa. Hat 15 Zentimeter Unterschied. Da ist es gut, dass Isa direkt Druck macht und nicht ähm, auf dem hinteren Fuß bleibt. Oh, oh gute okay, Linke getroffen von Isa. Den I'm not entirely sure it deserved to land, but it did land. You can just imagine the guy sitting there going, Oh, look at me, I'm Khabib, here's my big casting punch. Yeah. I realise he's got a lot of range and a lot of um, reach to, to, to compensate for, but um, he's BJJ, for goodness sake. Why isn't he closing the distance and taking the guy to the ground? Did he not watch UFC 1? Richtig schön auf die Kindschütze erwischt, hat Betulach hier fast uh, aus der Kampffläche rausgedrückt. Yeah. Okay, little jab. Oh, oh. oh and it was almost like watching Jean Claude Van Damme in the eighties. There wasn't it? That lovely spinning kick. Um, yeah. Yeah, extreme, ne? Also, er will immer ein bisschen machen. Okay, big overhand right again. Gefährlich geworden. Oh, okay. We're gonna go back and we're gonna slow that down and we're gonna watch it. Um, that was possibly um, the worst shoot for a single that I've ever seen in my entire life. And absolutely 
didn't deserve to to work. And I, I, I think we can safely say that that's a terrible, terrible takedown. And the only worst grappler in Germany at the time happens to be our friend the Lumberjack. Um, so let's go back. Let's slow this down to half speed. And let's watch it back. Now, we're going to talk through shooting in first. You know, you, we do what's called a penetration step. The first thing of a penetration step, the first move that you do is that you, you, you level change, you drop your weight. So if you're fighting with, say, a left lead, um, you, you drop, and once your weight's lower, at that point, the leg is then pretty much within touching distance. If it isn't, you're too far away, it's not gonna work. So, level change, you roll forward, your front knee touches the ground, because at that point, neither of your knees have touched the ground. If your knee hits the ground before you move forward, then you've fucked up. So, down, roll forward, take the leg, step through, stand up. Make sure that you're looking up, which firstly, get your ear against them, stops you from being guillotined, but also, it's, there's a pretty simple rule when it comes to going for a takedown, the direction your face is pointing is the direction you're going to go. So if you try and do a, a single leg and you're looking down, the other person's simply just gonna push on the back of your head, sprawl back a little, you're gonna end up on the floor with them on top of you. It's just not worth it. Back straight, head up, look, come straight up, and then finish the takedown. That's not what he did. <laughs> it is truly, truly terrible, isn't it? Um, so we can go back a tiny little bit and let's watch. In fact, shall we, shall we slow it down even more? Let's slow it down even more. Let's take that at a quarter speed and see what it looks like. I... So, first thing we do is we drop our weight. We level change, which involves bending your knees. But what we don't do is we don't lean forward. We certainly don't look down as we do it. We don't throw our arms forward because all of these things are telegraphing exactly what we're gonna to do to our opponent. We could simply be level changing in order to throw a low jab. Could be. Um, with this guy, it's a really, it's, a, it's, it's, it's likely. He's likely to throw that low jab and then the big overhand right again, because that's what he's doing. This, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so body position, head position, arm position uh, aside, he has slightly lowered his weight. So what we're expecting to see here is for him to drop forward onto his front knee. If he's got any sense, he's gonna try and land his front knee on the other guy's toes because that will take his mind off anything else. Um, and then he's gonna take the leg, whether he's going for a single, a high crotch, a double, whatever it is, looking at him, it's probably best to go for a blast double, less likely to be guillotined. Not that I think the Lumberjack's got any grappling skill at all. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure what that is, but it's, it's certainly not a single leg takedown, is it? Um, I, maybe he was going for, for the low single, um, where you block the heel, get your shoulder just, just, just below the knee and, and put some pressure. And as they try and step back there, the leg hyperextends, they fall over backwards. Possibly that's what he's going for. But the fact is that our, our giant of a lumberjack there should simply be sprawling. Sprawl your weight back, drop on top of him. I pretty much guarantee that our, our Brazilian jiu-jitsu player does not have the gas or the ability to escape from side control or north-south or mount when the guy above him outweighs him by that much and is that much taller than him. But he doesn't. He just sits down. But, you know, he's in a position, you know, at the very, the very worst here, he's in half guard, all he needs to do is hook that leg. Um, if he's got any sense about him, what he'll do is he'll bring his left knee up, he'll get that hook in, and he'll he'll, he'll re-guard, and, and, and then they're in a grapple. 
Um, not that being in guard is great if you're allowed to punch, but you know it's certainly better than um, than mount. So, is our BJJ guy gonna step over into mount? Is he gonna step into side control? Is he gonna sit in in half guard? I don't know. I just don't know. I say oh. That was almost athletic. And we're watching that at a quarter speed. Um, yeah, let's go back. We're going to go back and we're going to watch this whole thing again at full speed. And we're going to watch it and we're just going to appreciate the balletic beauty of the athleticism of our, um, our grappler here. And I'm going to stop being on such a downer because, well, yeah, you, you know, it's, life's too short, right? What a beautiful takedown. Look at that. Oh, straight round into side control. He's got his arm trapped. Well, that's okay. He'll pull that straight out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Go on the bottom and he's trying to... Oh, he's got an Americana. No, he doesn't have an Americana. Bit of face pressure. That's okay. Oh, trapping the leg. He's got that. He's got... Oh, he's got Americana. Firearm Americana. And... Doesn't appear to be able to, to finish it. Lift it. Lift it up. There you go. Thank you. You can't roll somebody's arm round if it's being pushed against the ground. Um, and I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I'll probably watch some more. But let's be honest, that wasn't the, uh, the most exciting and um, engaging of fights, was it? I, I don't think either of those fighters is particularly skilled. Uh, but, you know, they stepped up. They did it. So, skilled or not, they've got some, some bravery. They've got some, some gameness. They've got some balls. Good for them. And, um, yeah. What do you think? Am I wrong? Have I missed some things here? Are they actually fantastically skilled and I just failed to, to spot it? Or do you agree with me that it was a couple of fat lads having a roll round in the park? Um, yes. I'm not sure that deserved a seven minute video, but such is life. Anyway, I hope you're well. Stick something in the comments, do all that good stuff, like the video, um, share it. If you aren't subscribed, please do, because YouTube judges how much to promote my videos based on how many subscribers I've got and how much engagement those videos have. So anything you can do to help boost would be fantastic. I really appreciate it.